Okay, we're checking out another micro flight stack here from iFlight. This is part of their success series. New F7 mini fly stack 20 by 20. So this is going to be a, an F7 flight controller, a probably 32 bit 4 in 1 ESC and video transmitter stack. And uh, this is pretty new, so I'm not sure if a lot of places have this yet. Uh, so we got some TPU parts here. We have the stack itself, it's already assembled. And we have a capacitor. Imagine this is going to be 6S, just like the uh, F4 version. So this is a 220 microfarad, 35 volts. Uh, not super big. Got a whip antenna here with an MMCX connector. And we have some wiring harnesses here. It's probably going to be for the various uh, connectors on the flight controller, receiver, LED, etc. And we have an XD30. Now let's take a look at the stack here. I have heard that this is pretty much the same as the KEP RC F7. I uh, have new, I don't have that one yet, so I can't really verify that. Um, actually, I do have the uh, there's F7 stack in. Uh, the Cine Pro, but I'm not going to take it apart. I'm going to wait for that. They're actually going to send me the stack, so I'm going to wait till that comes. We can see I uh, have various connectors here. Probably that one's for a receiver. That one there is for the LED buzzer. I think that one there is probably going to be for the 4 in 1 EEC. And then we have another connector there. Looks like we have um, silicone like spacers here, so that's going to be for some vibration dampening. See, it does wiggle around a little bit here and we have a long metal screw that goes through everything here. This is yeah that's metal nylon screw there. And the same pin connecting system that the other F4 stack has. And we have a 4 in 1 EC. I believe this is a 35 amp 6S 4 in 1. We have a current sensor there. Obviously all your uh, connections between the 4 in 1 EC and the flight controller are via these pins and then the video transmitter and flight control earth via these pins here. And this one is this is the flight oh, this is what the video transfer looks like button control there, some fuel LEDs and your MMCX connector. Let's go ahead and pop this off and see what the flight control looks like. Okay, so this is the underside of the video transmitter. You do have solder pads here. It's kind of nice. Um, smart audio. Actually audio and then you have TXD which is smart audio then the video in out, ground, and 5 volts. Pretty basic, so we'll to see what this is like in terms of uh, performance. I think it looks this looks pretty much the same as the one in the F4. Yep, and this one does have the dual 32K gyros there. Yeah, oh, not sure if the camera will be able to focus on that. They are the dual 32K gyros at 90 degrees to each other, so well, you can have both of them active and it's going to do the noise cancelling, so I'm pretty sure this is the same as the GIP RC one. It's probably all made in the same factory. Wouldn't be surprised. You have a black box chip there. So that looks like a 32 meg black box chip, and you have an OSD. All nice solder pads here on the side for your different UARTs. I bet this is either going to be 5 or 6 UARTs. And bootloader button there, USB port there. Okay, so looks like this is actually a grommet built into the flight controller, so it's not actually a uh, spacer around the top and the bottom, it's actually into the hole there. So we'll take a look at the uh, bottom of the flight controller and see the large F7 chip there. And it's probably... Yeah, I don't actually have any specs on this because there's, there's not, nothing documented, but I think it's a 5 volt, 3 amp voltage regulator. Uh, if I remember correctly from the specs of the GIP RC. And this is the top side of the 4 and AC. And this is the... You got some filtering there, 4 capacitors there, not a whole lot. You got actually a couple here, one more there, one more there. So 4 more around the edge for additional filtering and then you have a few on the bottom as well so yeah that's pretty much it let me go ahead and put this back together and I'll show you how, how much this thing weighs okay so this is the weight of the stack with nothing on it 
three grams and then the XD30 is coming in at 19 grams and then throw on the whip antenna there 20.66 and then the capacitor 22.2 grams and then we'll throw on all the wiring harnesses and coming in at 24.7 grams yeah so um, in terms of performance and everything that I'm pretty sure this is the same one that's in the Cine Pro from GetRC that I reviewed uh, a little while ago. Um, if anyone can uh, confirm or deny that, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, that one I thought performed pretty good. And I like I do I do like the fact that you have the dual gyros on the F7 there. Um, I, I have a 30 by 30 iFlight board that has that same setup as well as the uh, Cine Pro 4K, and I can I can definitely tell you that it helps with the PIDs and the filtering and everything. So it's a very it does seem like it's very clean in terms of gyro noise and um, you're not getting a lot of weird twitches or vibrations in the actual flight characteristics. So I think that's pretty good. And then of course you have more UARTs uh, with an F7 and everything. That's so it's pretty much the same as the F4 version of their stack here, except they've upgraded to the F7. I think the video transmitter specs and the foreign mini EC specs, I believe, actually, sorry, correction, I believe that's not, that's not correct. I think the, the video transmitter is about the same specs, but the, I think the foreign mini EC is now the 32 bit EC, whereas before it was only D-Shot 600, if I remember right. So that's so F4 with the D-Shot 600, foreign mini EC, and now we have a 32 bit and an F7. So pretty big upgrade. I don't know the pricing on this one. Uh, check the link down in the description. I imagine this is going to be more expensive than the F4 version because all the F7s have come out pretty pricey. I'm pretty sure in the future the prices should start, should, uh, start going down as new technologies come out. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'll have this in some kind of a build soon. Not sure exactly when or what. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.